Okay, so my original purpose with this video was to show how to bring in AutoCAD from AutoCAD into Revit general notes. The idea being that you can take advantage of AutoCAD's formatting features uh, for numbered lists and bulleted lists and just so many things you can do in AutoCAD with the text formatting that you can't do in Revit. What this has ended up what this has ended up being though is really a <laughs> Um, a little lesson on Revit's limitations when it comes to bringing in stuff and just Revit's limitations in general when it comes to text and some of the workarounds you can you can do in order to get your text to look right in Revit. So that said, I've got my general notes here in AutoCAD. I assume you know how to do this. I'll go to Revit and uh, the first thing to do is to either create a uh, a drafting view if you're going to bring in your general notes once in one view, uh, for example, your cover sheet, you're never going to bring it in any place else, or maybe a legend if you're going to place your general notes on more than one sheet. So let's do a legend. I'll go to View, uh, Legends. We'll create a legend view. I'll set the scale to something you know, for text, one to one general notes. Go ahead and click OK. I might change the scale later based on what it ends up looking like. And so now under Legends, I should have a legend called General Notes. I'll go to Insert, Link CAD. Um, if you want to maintain the relationship between the CAD file and the Revit file, you want to link, otherwise hit Import. And I'll hit General Notes, select General Notes here, bring it in, center to center, there it is. Now, here's where things start breaking down a little bit. The General Notes, if we go back to AutoCAD, we have these nice spaces in between the different line items in Revit, we don't have that, and it's just again one of those limitations that Revit has. So, what you can do in this situation is you can explode the text in AutoCAD, which of course defeats some of the purpose of linking it, right? Because then you'd have to kind of uh, get it back together later. But if I explode it, then save it, and then reload it in Revit, so manage links, CAD formats, reload. And so that's looking better. Okay, that is one way. The other way might be simply to copy and paste as a text item. So I'm going to just delete this CAD uh, link. I'll go back to Revit. I'm going to undo the explode. So we're back into mText. I'm going to do an edit, copy it to the clipboard, and then in Revit, I will click on the Annotate tab, Text Tool, click to Place Test, and Paste. You don't see it actually until you paste there. And that actually looks a little bit better, and it behaves a little bit more like mText2. The downside is here that if you uh, pull this in the grips in so it wraps, you don't get the nice uh, leveling as you would expect it, uh, or as it's doing in AutoCAD. So you kind of have to keep it. Uh, unwrapped, so to speak. There are many, many other ways. I'm just covering a couple of situations here, but that is one way to use general notes. Of course, now you don't have a link between the CAD file and this file. You will actually be editing it, editing it here in um, in in Revit, and so. Eh, Pick your poison, essentially, where you what you want to work with. But again, it's it's an idea.